Eating guinea pig is an ancient tradition in many different parts of South America. In Peru alone, around 65 million guinea pigs are eaten every year. In Western society, the guinea pig has enjoyed widespread popularity as a pet. Since its introduction to Europe and North America by European traders in the 16th century, Their docile nature, friendly responsiveness to handling and feeding, and the relative ease of caring for them have made guinea pigs a continuing popular choice of household pet. Organizations devoted to the competitive breeding of guinea pigs have been formed worldwide. Many specialized breeds, with varying coat colors and textures, are selected by breeders. Livestock breeds of the guinea pig play an important role in folk culture for many indigenous Andean peoples, especially as a food source. The animals are also used in folk medicine and in community religious ceremonies. They are raised for their meat and are a culinary staple in the Andes Mountains, where they are known as Kui. In the 1960s a modern breeding program was started in Peru that resulted in large breeds known as Cui Mejorados improved Cui. Marketers tried to increase consumption of the animal outside South America. Regionally known as Cui, the guinea pig was first domesticated as early as 5000 BC for food. By tribes in the Andean region of South America, the present-day southern part of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, some thousands of years after the domestication of the South American camelids. Guinea pigs are large for rodents, the common pet breeds weigh between 700 and 1200 grams 1 .5 and 2.6 pounds when fully grown and measure between 20 and 25 centimeters in length. Some livestock breeds weigh 3 kilograms when full grown. Pet breeds live an average of 4 to 5 years, but may live as long as 8. According to Guinness World Records, as of 2006, the longest lived guinea pig was 14 years, 10 months, and 2 weeks old. Most guinea pigs have fur, but one laboratory breed adopted by some pet owners, the skinny pig, is a mostly furless breed. Some breeds are long fur breeds such as the Peruvian, the Silky, and the Texel. Guinea pigs can learn complex paths to food, and can accurately remember a learned path for months. Their strongest problem-solving strategy is motion. While guinea pigs can jump small obstacles, they cannot jump very high. Most of them are poor climbers, and are not particularly agile. They startle easily, and when they sense danger either freeze in place for long periods, or run for cover with rapid, darting motions. Domestic guinea pigs generally live in cages, although some owners of large numbers of cavies dedicate entire rooms to their pets. Wire mesh floors can cause injury and may be associated with an infection commonly known as bumblefoot ulcerative pododermatitis. So cages with solid bottoms, where the animal walks directly on the bedding, are typically used. The guinea pig's natural diet is grass, their molars are particularly suited for grinding plant matter and grow continuously throughout their life. Most mammals that graze are large and have a long digestive tract. Guinea pigs have much longer colons than most rodents, but they must also supplement their diet by eating their feces coprophagy. However, they do not consume all their feces indiscriminately, but produce special soft pellets, called checotropes or sequel pellets, which recycle B vitamins, fiber, and bacteria required for proper digestion. 
guinea pigs benefit from a diet of fresh grass hay, such as timothy hay, in addition to food pellets which are often based on timothy hay. Alfalfa hay is also a popular food choice and most guinea pigs will eat large amounts of alfalfa when offered it. Though some controversy exists over offering alfalfa to adult guinea pigs. Some pet owners and veterinary organizations have advised that, as a legume rather than a grass hay. Alfalfa consumed in large amounts may lead to obesity, as well as bladder stones from the excess calcium in all animals except for pregnant and very young guinea pigs. However, published scientific sources mention alfalfa as a food source that can replenish protein, amino acids, and fiber. Males boars, reach sexual maturity in three to five weeks. Similarly, females sows, can be fertile as early as four weeks old, and can carry litters before they are fully grown adults. A sow is able to breed year-round, with spring being the peak. A sow can have as many as five litters in a year, but six is theoretically possible. Unlike the offspring of most rodents, which are altricial at birth, newborn KV pups are precocial, and are well developed with hair, teeth, claws, and partial eyesight. The pups are immediately mobile and begin eating solid food immediately, though they continue to suckle. Sows can once again become pregnant 6 to 48 hours after giving birth, but it is not healthy for a female to be constantly pregnant. The gestation period lasts from 59 days to 72 days, with an average of 63 to 68 days. Because of the long gestation period and the large size of the pups, pregnant sows may become large and eggplant shaped. Although the change in size and shape varies depending upon the size of the litter, litter size ranges from 1 to 6, with 3 being the average. The largest recorded litter size is 9, the guinea pig mother only has 2 nipples, but she can readily raise the more average sized litters of 2 to 4 pups. In smaller litters, difficulties may occur during labor due to oversized pups, large litters result in higher incidences of stillbirth. But because the pups are delivered at an advanced stage of development, lack of access to the mother's milk has little effect on the mortality rate of newborns. If handled correctly early in life, guinea pigs become amenable to being picked up and carried, and seldom bite or scratch. They are timid explorers and often hesitate to attempt an escape from their cage even when an opportunity presents itself. Still, they show considerable curiosity when allowed to walk freely, especially in familiar and safe terrain. Guinea pigs that become familiar with their owner will whistle on the owner's approach. They will also learn to whistle in response to the rustling of plastic bags or the opening of refrigerator doors, where their food is most commonly stored. In Switzerland, owning a single guinea pig is considered harmful to its well-being and forbidden by law. Domesticated guinea pigs occur in many breeds, which have been developed since their introduction to Europe and North America. These varieties vary in hair and color composition. The most common varieties found in pet stores are the English Shorthair, also known as the American which have a short, smooth coat, and the Abyssinian, whose coat is ruffled with cowlicks, or rosettes. Also popular among breeders are the Peruvian and the Sheltie, or Silky, both straight longhair breeds, and the Texel, a curly longhair. Grooming of guinea pigs is primarily accomplished using combs or brushes. Short hair breeds are typically brushed weekly, while longhair breeds may require daily grooming. Guinea pigs, called Kui, Kuya, or Kuri, were originally domesticated for their meat in the Andes. Traditionally, the animal was reserved for ceremonial meals and as a delicacy by indigenous people in the Andean highlands.
but since the 1960s, it has become more socially acceptable for consumption by all people. It continues to be a major part of the diet in Peru and Bolivia, particularly in the Andes Mountains Highlands. It is also eaten in some areas of Ecuador, mainly in the Sierra, and in Colombia, exclusively in highland locations in the department of Nariño near the border with Ecuador. They are a more profitable source of food and income than many traditional stock animals, such as pigs and cattle. Moreover, they can be raised in an urban environment. Both rural and urban families raise guinea pigs for supplementary income, and the animals are commonly bought and sold at local markets and large-scale municipal fairs. Guinea pig meat is high in protein and low in fat and cholesterol, and is described as being similar to rabbit and the dark meat of chicken. The animal may be served fried, chactado or frito, broiled, asado, or roasted, al horno. And in urban restaurants may also be served in a casserole or a fricassee. Ecuadorians commonly consume sopa, or locro de cuy, a soup dish. Pachamanca or huatia, a process similar to barbecuing, is also popular and is usually served with corn beer chicha, in traditional settings. Peruvians consume an estimated 65 million guinea pigs each year. And the animal is so entrenched in the culture that one famous painting of the Last Supper in the main cathedral in Cusco shows Christ and the twelve disciples dining on guinea pig. The animal remains an important aspect of certain religious events in both rural and urban areas of Peru. A religious celebration, known as Jaca Zarie, collecting the quiz, is a major festival in many villages in the Antonio Raimondi province of eastern Peru, and is celebrated in smaller ceremonies in Lima. It is a syncretistic event, combining elements of Catholicism and pre-Columbian religious practices, and revolves around the celebration of local patron saints. The exact form the Jaca Zarie takes differs from town to town. In some localities, a servantai servant is appointed to go from door to door, collecting donations of guinea pigs, while in others, guinea pigs may be brought to a communal area to be released in a mock bullfight. Peruvian research universities, especially La Molina National Agrarian University, began experimental programs in the 1960s with the intention of breeding larger sized guinea pigs. Subsequent university efforts have sought to change breeding and husbandry procedures in South America, to make the raising of guinea pigs as livestock more economically sustainable. The variety of guinea pig produced by La Molina is fast growing and can weigh 3 kilograms 6.6 pounds. All the large breeds of guinea pig are known as Cui Mejorados and the pet breeds are known as Cui Criolos. The three original lines out of Peru were the Peru, weighing 800 grams 28 ounces by two weeks, the Andina, and the Inti. Andean immigrants in New York City raise and sell guinea pigs for meat, and some South American restaurants in major cities in the United States serve cuy as a delicacy. In the 1990s and 2000s, La Molina University began exporting large breed guinea pigs to Europe, Japan, and the United States in the hope of increasing human consumption outside of countries in northern South America. The guinea pig, Cavia porcellus, a member of the rodent order, is considered a very promising micro-livestock species for rural development. Because it requires little capital, equipment, space and labor, and provides an inexpensive, readily available and high-quality meat. 
From prehistoric times, it has been raised for food in the central highlands of the Andes region of Latin America. Guinea pigs are now also reared for meat in different countries of Latin America, Asia and Africa. Although guinea pig contribute to the alleviation of protein deficiency in the diets of people in developing countries. They have largely been neglected as a livestock species. Most research reports have focused on the role of guinea pig as laboratory specimens. Thus, their actual contributions to food production have been greatly ignored and or underestimated by scientists, extension and other development workers and policy makers in the agricultural sector in developing countries, especially in Africa. There is little published information on their production, marketing and consumption under smallholder conditions in developing countries. In West Africa, much of the work on smallholder guinea pig production has been done in Cameroon. This paper provides a global overview of guinea pig production with a special focus on the traditional subsistence rearing system as practiced by limited resource farmers. The guinea pig, Cavia porcellus, a member of the rodent order, is related to the wild and semi-domesticated cavii as found in the mountains and grasslands of Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador and Peru. The name guinea pig is generally thought to have originated some centuries ago as British sailors carried this curiosity specimen, resembling a young pig, from South America to Britain, through the port of Guinea, West Africa. This may explain how this animal got the name guinea pig in English. Thank you. 